For this experiment, you take water in a big beaker and to this you can add a little of detergent, some oil, vegetable peels and you can even add a little of ink or whatever waste you think can be added to this you add to this beaker. Now you put this beaker in sun for 2 days in sun for 2 days. Now, what will happen? There will be decomposition of this matter. After you have kept it in the sun and now the decomposition has happened, take a sample out of this water or a part of this water, put it in a test tube and write down sample 1 before treatment. then you start your own treatment. Do you have an aquarium at home or have you seen an aquarium? There is aerator through which air is being bubbled into water. So, you can use that aerator or you can use a mechanical stirrer and then use them for a day or two. After you have done Again, you take a little of water in the second test tube and now you can say this is after aeration sample 2. So, first step has been done, air has been bubbled through it. Now, the next step is that we will filter it. Now, how can we filter water? To filter water, we can take filter paper like this. Three sides of the filter paper on one side and one on the other side because if you will keep two, two, then it will not make a cone. Now, this filter paper must stick to the funnel. For that purpose, you can add a little water so that filter paper becomes moist and it sticks to the funnel. Now, add a little of sand, very fine sand at the bottom. First layer is of very fine sand, then fine gravel and then medium sized gravel. This is fine gravel and this is medium. Now, you pour your water that has been aerated through this and collect it in another beaker. Once the water has been collected, then you can take it in a test tube and label it as a sample 3 after filtration. After you have done filtration, you can also add chlorine tablets to it because chlorination helps to kill the microbes and remove if there is any other odor. But of course, it affects the odor and the taste of water, but it makes it infection free. So, that can be fourth sample, sample 4 after chlorination. Now, you compare these 4 samples and you will know that initially water was different and through different stages its taste, odor, color kept on changing. You will notice that in the first sample before treatment water is brown or blackish in color. It also has foul smell and then as we keep moving through various stages we find that water keeps becoming colorless and also the smell goes away. Although after adding chlorine tablet, we find that the smell and there is a peculiar smell and also the taste is not really good.
but after the chlorine gas has passed then of course it is again portable. 